happy... Wait, no, it's not Sunday, it's Monday. I'm doing an extra stream. Lately I've not been doing Mondays. But how's it going? I was so into the Adams Family, I thought we would just carry straight on with it tonight. <clears throat> Now, I did see something online today. I didn't see where, but I saw that apparently there's a secret door in this place, somewhere here. Oh, and that would be it. Hugsley's Den. So this would be useful for getting extra lives. No left turn. I didn't realise there was going to be invisible doors in this game. It makes me wonder what else we've missed. Like that. Behind stairs. I was having a flick through Sega Retro. And um, scrolling down through the levels and I saw Pugsley's thing and I was like, Pugsley's dead? I don't remember seeing that. And that's what it said. Oh, what are these? Uh, Take heart. Well, this is cool. A sort of little little uh, refuge if you're in trouble. Okay, well, I actually don't want all of these. I don't want to waste them all. I don't need them. One way. Unless there's a secret door. I didn't think about that, actually. Uh, I'm not going to take them though. It would be a huge waste. And here was me complaining that I wouldn't be able to hear this music anymore. Sports hall. Oh my god, there's like weapons and everything. So you can just come here to get your weapons back. That's pretty cool. This will make like doing little reruns much better. Like if I get a game over, hopefully all this will respawn. We can gather some lives really quickly. I'm curious, does that reset with the weapon at least? Yep. Not sure if I prefer the sword or the golf ball. I think I'll take the golf ball. Okay, we seem to be stuck. Okay. The music here, like the bit at the end, the jingle, sort of reminds me of um, the Alice in Wonderland levels on World of Illusion. That. Da -da 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 -da. The cloakroom. Mm -hmm. Oops. The door, the hat room. Well, there's the hat in question. Behind stairs, the cloak room. We've been there. Oh, some of the doors are doing the, the thingy, aren't they? Whoop. Yes, genius. That's clever. That's very clever. <gasps> ah, I was so close. That fast has did not did not last very long at all. Whoa! Why is it? Ri oh, I think it's when maybe what the thing he said the other day was actually right. When you change rooms it doesn't stay with you, but maybe it just has a slight delay as to when it's going to run out. Oh, you can do it, yes. The one-up room. Wow. That is quite the find.
I am so glad that I sort of Loki accidentally cheated and saw that this place exists. <laughs> this is the stuff that you would have read in the magazines as a kid though. You would have read this in your Sonic the Comic. They would have said, did you know there's a secret room in the stairs? And you'd know that and that's how you play the game. It's the same as like all the cheats on James Pond that I still remember to this day. Training shoes. <laughs> You know, sometimes I think this HUD gets in the way a lot. The hat room, we just done that. Oh, maybe I was being overly clever. Did we just need the running shoes for that? Yep. <laughs> What's the point of the hat room then? Hang on, hang on, hang on. That makes me think that there must be another reason that the hat is here, like it literally disappears immediately. Maybe it is just for the one-up room. And secret over there. That's a lot of lives. Pugs, Pugsley's Den. Lovely room. Tend to just go grab even more lives as well, then we're really set for... for whatever. I have to say, I was very tired last night, so and also just mostly focused on the chat. So I was kind of getting a bit clumsy towards the end, but I think the game is actually really good. And I think with a lot of focus, I would have probably been playing those areas a little bit better than I was. Um, we'll see, but I'm hoping that the granny's oven area that we did, whoops, last night, I'm going to have to repeat it, hopefully it's going to go a little bit smoother than it did. get points then for those, only if you jump on them. That's a bit rubbish. You only get points for jumping on enemies. That was a really unfortunate despawn. Can't quite remember if I can actually get out this way. Might be a case of no. underground. Wait, this just takes me to the cemetery, doesn't it? Oh, deja vu. Whatever, this will do. So you can get items by doing that, the manual said, but I've yet to see a particular use for that. Maybe I've missed the opportunity. Just gonna see if I can get some dollars. Oh, 
and a heart would do nicely. There's not really much reward here. Oh, I've already got the first hat. I thought there was a one up here somewhere, but maybe I'm wrong. I guess I made that up. Anyway, that'll do. Might go grab that heart from the tree. Actually, uh, could just go and pug this thing again. Oh, is there always a heart there? What else has respawned? Why? Okay, so these have all respawned, so I may as well explore. Why would it? Why would there be so many? You would never need. You would never be able to pick up this many hearts. I guess it's a way to get points. doing? I want the uh, the weapons. I want to change. No, not that. I want the ball. No. I don't want the training shoes, but I'll have them. The sports hall. Because he's dumb. Right, let's go back into the oven because that was probably the harder one to do of the two. The stove can be switched off if you can find the switch. Oh god, I've got deja vu. It's like I had a hangover or something. Well, not a hangover, but like after a night out, and it's like coming back to me like... I wasn't drinking last night, but it feels like it. Don't respawn on the bloody screen. does make everything a lot easier. Wait, is that a sign? Is it? Oh. I thought it was going through the wall. even see the HUD is covering stuff up. So this afternoon I finally updated OBS and it's quite embarrassing how old a, a one I was using. Hopefully everything's okay. But um, I was on like version 26. Uh, no, 27. Apparently we're on 29 now. It's like I was on like 27 point something. And now I'm finally on 29. The first thing it did was irritate me because 
they changed all the overlay. It took me ages to figure out that you could actually just go into the options and it was like a new theme that they were forcing on you. And I've changed it back to the, my dark mode one and it looks fine again now. But I was like, what? Because you couldn't resize anything? Oh, why does that close again if you go off the screen? But yeah, it was really giving me a headache. Oh no, I've lost my balls. I'm probably going to lose them in a moment anyway. I'm debating whether to go back and get them. I will, I'll probably die in a, in a few moments, I think. In some lava shenanigans. So we'll, we'll get over that. But yeah, now I'm all up to date. My only concern is I hope that the updates doesn't... In fact, let me check right now. How is it doing? The CPU. I just worry that it's going to drain more resources now that it's updated to something more modern because eventually I'm going to need a new laptop, I think, because, you know, things don't last forever. Technology moves forwards and stuff breaks. I'm probably taking the piss with how long I've had this laptop anyway. I just don't want to buy one. I hate buying stuff that you already have, if you know what I mean. Hey, Tin Sarah, how are you? Bananas, bananas. It always feels like like upgrading something that you already have always just feels a bit eh, because nothing really changes afterwards. Good seasonal choice. Did you ever play this one? It's pretty fun. I actually really quite like it. Granny's here, guarded by baddies. They are too hot to touch. Oh, those ones. So it probably would have been a good idea if I could have that ball. It would have made this easier. Oh well. I have never, I have, but never finished it. It was rented. It's pretty decent. Is my take. See, that would have been the end of the ball if I'd have gone and got it back. No regrets. I would have lost it again there. It's a bit floaty though. Takes a bit to get used to. It's easier to jump than it is to walk, to be honest. How's your Monday? Ready for work? I've just got a bee in my bonnet again with Mega Drive. I'm proper in the Mega Drive mood. It's that time of year, I think. I like Mega Drive in the winter, <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Cozy late nights. Woke up a bit late, blame the cold air, feel good to be in bed, yeah. I'm going to struggle to sleep tonight because I stayed up so late last night playing this and chatting to people. But yeah, I just want to get through a couple more Mega Drive games. I might wrap up Story of Thor and then stick with Mega Drive for a bit, we'll see. Why is that closed? a switch somewhere, maybe that one. It's like I was saying yesterday, I got through so many Mega Drive games in the first year and then I've sort of just slowed down now. And what are we on? It's on the road, a connection went in at. That reminds me actually, uh, this is really silly but I want to do something while I'm live before I forget. I'd preemptively said that I was going to finish, um, this is going to echo now, excuse me a minute. I'm going to try and mute it, oh there we go. I've typed on my about page thing, whatever it was, that I've, um, this is game number 39, 139, like I sort of preemptively got ahead of myself because I decided, oh I'm going to finish viewpoint first, I'm just going to type it in. That's just a fat line. And let's uh, switch that around. Shouldn't really put games on until they're done. But yeah, there we go. Sorry, uh, I've been thinking to do that all day and I kept forgetting. So, good shit while I remember. The Grill. Hopefully that's updated. If I don't think I'm going to finish this tonight. 
or if I do it will be the end but um, if there's time but I don't think there will be I might have another crack at the viewport I probably shouldn't actually because I won't have time to finish it and then it'll just get annoying I might just play a bit of Undead Lion or something if there's extra time what am I going to play after this though I'm oh speaking of Tin Sarah I nearly sent you a photo but um Bef just before I went live, I saw in the categories on Twitch, maybe you can see, I don't know if you follow it, somebody is streaming Mega Panel right now. A Japanese person is streaming Mega Panel. I was shocked. Now I don't have the monopoly on Mega Panel, it seems. Is there anything down here? Oh. need to do that. Yeah, yeah, somebody's doing Mega Panel, believe it or not. Oh, that was a terrible jump. Do, 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 do. The timing on these is, is, is really, like, I'm gonna take a hit to do this, surely. I think they've gone whappy. Cannot, like, despawn them or something. Oh, I think it's slowly going out of sync. Da -da 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 -bum. Woo! Oops. Crikey. Hoop. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, that nearly got me. Mega panel. Can't understand what's there. <laughs> probably just bitching. Oh, this game is so hard. No, they're probably a good gamer at it. Some people are. There's if you. Uh, I don't know whether it'll come up in English. It might do. But if you YouTube it, there's like one person who's done like a long play of it, and it's just it's crazy. Oh no, it's crazy to watch them play because they just are like moving it round. You know, like you get those people that do like Rubik's cubes really, really fast. It looks like that. You've been foiled in your attempt. Oh, iframes, please. Beom. Oh, fudge! How do I get up there? Oh no! I see your game. That's mean. I'll do all this again. Whoa, whoa. Bum, bum, ba -da -bum, bum, bum, bum. Some people are just amazing at the. They are, they just have. Some of it, I mean, a lot of it's practice, isn't it? But it's a little bit of everything. I think you get into a. I did towards the end, but not to any degree that I would probably ever be able to beat the game. But you just get into a sort of like logical rhythm with it where you can just. Uh, when you need to move like maybe this blue square to this square you can you don't have to think how you can you can just do it like shh, shh, you know what i mean it gets to a point where you can do that but i just wasn't really good at thinking many moves ahead and also the d-pad's a little bit clumsy it was a bit actually quite hard to do sometimes it takes a bit of getting used to how to move around in the game with the d-pad I would give Mega Panel another go at some point, I think. See if I could improve with the pressure off. But I do think that will be. That I think there's there's some games that I'm happy to go and revisit and have another crack at. Like I'm quite happy to go and replay Chakan and see if I can do it without a cheeky save state at the very end, just because I was a bit. Um, I saved a bit of tedium. But um, I think Mega Panel may be the game I will never be able to beat. I don't think I could ever get good enough to beat Mega Panel. It's a very... It's just, it's a skill that I don't think I have. Billion points. Yeah, there's a couple of stuff I need to revisit. At Christmas I'm going to revisit James Pond too. I know I can beat that though, It's because I've done it many, many times when I was a kid. I was just being impatient. I want to revisit Fantastic Dizzy. 
can't think of there was that many others that I did really. I think it really was just Mega Panel Chaka and James Pond 2. Was that it? Oh, Alex Kid. I really shouldn't have given in on the final boss of Alex Kid, just out of grumpiness. Just to create a checkpoint, it was really annoying. Chainsaw Hunter legitimately last September on Amiga. The first one? The first one is a different story altogether. I don't know I'm going to do that one. Second one's pretty easy going, I think. Two? I have not played the Amiga version though, so it could be rougher. I think the level design's different for a start. But James Bond 2 is, is, it's not easy easy, but I could beat it as a kid, so it was definitely easier than a lot of other stuff at the time. Am I missing something here? This is switch. But I'm not sure if the Amiga actually has the same levels, so it may well be a more difficult game. Ow. Oh. Tempest from Rush for Game Beat it first time. Well, there you are then, if you're doing a deathless run on it. As a kid, I thought it was impossible. I see, I like James Pond because it was one of the few games I could actually beat when I was a kid. I thought 3 was much harder. I never finished 3 as a kid, I don't think, without. I think I used the password cheat or something. Beating it at all. I don't think they... you'd have to check, but I don't think they're quite the same levels. This is on the Amiga, I think. I like it, but never got even close to beating it. I love James Bond too. I don't know why it gets a bad reputation. Like, people... I, I mean, well, I sort of know why. I think it's saturated. I think it got released on too many platforms when it was really old and clunky. And it's sort of damage the brand as, as so it's not that it ever was a brand but I think it's just left a sour taste in people's mouth it became that shovelware game that you got in like Asda for like 9.99 on the PlayStation 2 and you're like why is it on the PlayStation 2 Desert Strike yeah that's a good one that one was a really pleasant surprise I'm very surprised how well Desert Strikes aged. I think I I enjoyed it more now than I did at the time. What was it on the Amiga? I never really played. I don't even know if I actually did ever play an Amiga. What does Amigas even look like? Hang on. I don't know if I ever did play an Amiga. Do you know, I bet what I was talking about yesterday. I bet I played an Amiga at my friends. When I was trying to remember what that Captain America, not Captain America, Captain Planet game was, I bet it was an Amiga. I'm looking at it now. I didn't realise the Amiga was kind of like a monitor and everything. I thought it was more like, you know, the Atari STs that you just plugged them into TVs. This is on the Amiga. It's pretty Amiga looking. There's a personal computer. Could you actually plug it into a TV? If you wanted to. Or was that just something unique about the Atari ST? You could. So I remember maybe the maybe Atari STs were then, but my brother in law had one, but he always used to use it on the on a he had a little TV in the corner. And he always used to play it on the on the TV, and whenever I I borrowed it off him, and I played it on my TV as well. A little crappy blue mouse pad. Atari was a lot more all built in one though, because the disc thing was in the side, wasn't it? It wasn't like an external thing, just like a big keyboard that you could carry around. <coughs> Never got to play on one. Which is, I always get confused, which is the one that's not, is it the Amiga that isn't popular in America? And the Commodore. 
Wait, what was the one that had almost no presence in America, and then there was an American one that was popular but didn't have much presence in the UK? There's like two. The Commodore 64 we had in the UK, I think that one wasn't in America, was it? What's the Amstrad? Is the Amstrad the American one that was popular? See, I was just a bit too young for all of this. I never really played any of the computer things. I just played Mega Drives instead. This game has black backgrounds on a me. Does it? Oh, that'd be rubbish. It's just showing it. No one knows the Amiga. C64 is big in Europe. I have my dad's Commodore 64. Play Pong on it. Oh, well, there you go then. What's the Amstrad then? That's a name that I always heard. Ah, bugger. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a Mega Drive person. Never really had computers. I've never really been into PCs much ever. I've always liked consoles. PCs were more just for the internet and stuff. For me. NES was my first personal system. Really? Oh, hang on, I'm being raided. <laughs> Hi, <YouTube>. Hello! <laughs> Arigato gozaimashita. こんばんは。大体配信は英語ですけど、どうも例のありがとうございました。うわ。全然。でも多分大体チャットではみんなは大体英語のみで。<笑><笑> Thanks for the follow. What? Zenzen. Tabi yomu yori hanasu no hou ga chotto heta na no de. Hello. I did actually have a bloody robot thing for translating, but I've never really activated it. Those chat things that you get. I don't even know if it would work anymore. Wow. There's actually quite a lot of Amiga ports that I've noticed on the Mega Drive because one of my favourites that we did earlier was um, Pugsy. It's very difficult, this game. <laughs> And the other way too. Oh really? I tend to find like if the games were like British made then they were usually on the Amiga first or something. Guys you can speak to them, best I can do is whoops. Best I can do is put up a command that asks them to speak <laughs> kinda like my sister sister systems game wise. Let me see if I can get... Do I still have the chat bot? I think I deleted it. Oh, I... Oh, shit. After I reset the... My computer, I lost it. There's that... 
Satan, I've forgotten what the name is now, bot that you can get that translates the chat stuff. BGM wa kanari suki desu. メガドラ,ドラのイギリスのゲームの音楽が多分ちょっとアメリカよりいいと思う。is not going very well. Like the chat of the Yaxu Kikai bot was there, but the first time the bot was at the beginning やり直してから消したかも<笑>だから対応できない<笑>なんか有名の誰だったっけサタンさんのやっぱりね、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、I was watching the scene when,、um, do you remember the Fenrir appears and eats all the party? It was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that game. It's pretty well known, I think, as a terrible game. Now. It seemed to have a bit of a reaction. <laughs> this is Japanese famous retro game streamer. <laughs> It was fun to watch today. Like a high s c h o o middle no wa, t a n o s k a t a de sta. でしたじゃないけど<笑>楽しかった。It's so rare that I actually speak Japanese. I pretty much live in an English bubble, so a lot of my Japanese is just reading and listening. So I'm a little shy. Woo! I mean, most of my Japanese conversation is just the supermarket and apartment people and things like that. Kind of like Sister Systems game wise. Oh, the Amiga. Sorry, I missed that comment completely. Yeah, the Amiga. But doesn't it, on a, even on a hardware level, doesn't it have some of the same stuff as what I've always heard? Like sound chips and. Wait, even. No. 
Is it not the same processor? I think somebody told me once. The immortal stamp is nice. <laughs> immortal wa gozonji desu ka? See you next time. Goodbye. Bye. I'm surprised. I've seen sp speedrunners though. Japanese speedrunners doing the immortal. Like, is it popular? <laughs> I'm, I'm very surprised. Like, I have seen a couple of people on Twitch. Japanese speedrunners, they're going through the immortal. I guess it's an easy one to speedrun because it's like, what, 15 minutes if you play it properly? Something about the hardware, but don't know what. Not the sound. No, I think it's not because the sounds are not as good, are they? It shocks me. What is a speed run? Anything's a speed run. What the dog are they making there? Said that the mortal is expensive in Japan. Mega Dora Ban wa Takakata desu ka? Also, you can set the game fast. What the fuck am I supposed to be doing? Why does that. S is it because I've died? Like, where am I going? How did I do this last time? I'm gonna die, just die on purpose. I had a speedrunner visit me from Destiny of an Emperor, which I could completely see since his auto battler is insane. RPGs are weird ones though, aren't they? Right, I need to hit that switch first. Where is it? I think the, um, the Immortal's pretty... Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, we can go here. I think the Immortal's pretty cheap in English. Like, I think the... Probably the UK version is cheap. How quickly can you do Destiny of an Emperor? Pick it up. Three and a half hours. Whoa. That's if I've done Did, were you trying to speed run though, or just that's just your n normal play? Ah! I wouldn't I don't think I would enjoy speedrunning an RPG. I like the stories. If I'm gonna replay it, I can't speedrun anything. No, I can't either. I don't have the patience. Like just just beating the game is enough. Ah Oh for fuck's sake. The immortal was eight <gasps> <laughs> how much do you know, Tinsara? How much is the Immortal in America? On the Mega Drive. What? Huh. Oh. 
I ha oh, fuck it. Just whatever. Decent copy seems to go for 45 US dollars. Or maybe 5,000 yen then. Oh, what? Looks like just the car is ten dollars. So eighteen thousand yen at Surugaya. Is that the car? So it's one hundred yen. Wa car to no mi de. A few still sealed at seventy-five. Sealed. See, it must have had a big print run in Eng oh, in English. The last oven. This is where I died yes last night, I think. It amazes me how many times I can see actually oh in Japan though there's a lot of sealed games i was looking at one just before i went live i was looking at um i can't remember how you call it vel cell vel or something and grand stream saga if you have the money you can get most games still sealed in japan even crazy rare ones they just will cost you an absolute bomb what was the one i saw one recently it was on twitter Somebody had, I can't remember the name of it now. It's the it's the famous Sega Saturn game. What's it called? Sega Saturn. It's like Taru Tarumaru or something like that. Tarumaru. Shinrei Jisatsushi Tarumaru. Yeah. So this game is like one of the most expensive games on the Sega Saturn. And I saw it on Twitter. Like any condition, it's very, very expensive. It'll be like a thousand dollars to buy that. I saw it on Twitter. Somebody had found it. It was in a store, and it was sealed. And it was about, I think it was two thousand dollars or something. Two thousand five hundred dollars. Yeah, that game is so expensive, but it's famous. That was a quickie, but yeah, the game's insane. If you ever see me streaming that, you know that I've like had a really I've made a mistake drinking, or I've married rich, or I have given up on life. If you ever see me buy that. Won the lottery, yeah. I would love to play it though. I would. Re <laughs> it's really sad because it looks good. I hate the fact that it actually looks good. Like I want to play it. It looks like um, Castlevania, kind of. I should probably get one of those satiator cards just to play that game. The other one that I want is um, Heavy Nova on the Sega Saturn, and that's 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 like uh, it's still it's still crazy. <laughs> I become insanely rich. I know. <laughs> yeah. But what I might do, what I should do with one of them is just like put all the ad revenue aside. And it have Twitch pay for it for me in like what I don't know, ten years or something. For what? Well, probably not that one, but a different one, a cheaper one. Maybe in twenty, if I Twitch for twenty years, maybe the ad revenue could pay for Taro Maru. Mm. 
Am I nearly gonna get a thing? I can't read the HUD. Is that 28 or 23? It's 28 bollocks. Hello? Oh, there we go. Fuck! I still can't get over. You were I don't think you were here yesterday, Tin Sarah, but Runic said that when he's crouching down it looks like he's doing some something naughty. <laughs> I can't see it now. He's doing a line under his jacket. Oh, this is where I died last night. Here. Oh. You, can, you don't have to even... Oh, I ran out of lives. I only had about... I only had two lives left and I got here and this is just bullshit. Fucking... Whoa! Okay. What is that? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you can't see it too. Why is grinning so much? What the? What? 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 <laughs> Am I missing something here? What's going on? Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, piss off. Oh, piss off! Grandma. Ugh. Oh, help! Don't move! Oh, he's such a dick. <laughs> Oh, fuck off. Should I just stand here, maybe? That'd be easier. As long as he doesn't come over here. The manual did say that there's like a safe spot. Yeah, you ain't so bad. Oh. Fuck! Oh, it's gonna take forever, this is. I don't know if I've got the patience. From this side, maybe. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, get out of here. a bit worried about this boss. Does he have a pattern? Like, I wonder if it's doing it the same way twice or something. Wrong one. I think he does have a pattern. I've just got to sort of figure it out and remember where he's coming. Now. Oh, you... No. 
Whatever. So he's going to come out the left one, tw uh, the right one twice. Oof. Oh, go away. Go away. Right, right, left, right, left. Right, right, left, right, left. Then we'll improvise. When does it... I can't see when it loops. Oh, that, I think that's the loop. Then... Whoa! The dragon is strong. <laughs> Too strong. I've missed it. Bugger. I think I can't greed. I don't think I can greed that double hit. Can I? Oh, maybe. Oh, I don't like how he moves as he's going in the thing. And then you just hit his bones. Bastard. Oh, what the fuck is this hitbox? Need to look for a bit. Good luck. Thank you. Ah! Whoa. Oh, where you going? Bad boy. Oh, is it left or right now? I think it's left or right again, isn't it? Yeah. Get down. Oh, you... <laughs> His pattern's all over the place later. It doesn't seem to loop. Look at Grandma. What took you so long, Gomez? I was just becoming very comfortable. There we go, that's that done. Finished furnace. Thank you. Granny stove, done. That, oh, I don't think it will though, but I kind of want to die on purpose and get all this stuff back. I don't, they won't be here, but all the lives that they know. Can I be bothered to die 16 times? No. No 
There we go. Right, let's go to the lab. Hmm. Where was it? I haven't even actually I haven't even been in here. Uncle Fester came this way earlier with Abigail. I feel like I should do that one last though, because I've already done most of this one before. Whoops. Let's do that. Oh my god. Oh, I've lost my ball now. Where was it? There we go. Maybe I can finish this tonight then, because there's only... I've got to get Pugsley and Uncle Festa. And then it's the final area, I think. So where was it? Whoa! Games room. Oop. Do you know, um, is it called Galahad Retro if he's still around? talking about Amiga stuff because I haven't played I think it's called Galahad on the Amiga or is it it's got two names I think there's a Mega Drive one I want to try whoops never heard Check what it is a second. I'll leave that going actually. What was it? Gun Hat Mega Drive. The Legend of Galahad. I'm sure it had a diff. Oh, Leon. That was it. Leander. Linda. that well versed on games you didn't play. Whoops. It apparently it was Le Leander. Yeah, it was renamed to Galahad on the Mega Drive. It's Traveller's Tale. See you again. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you for the raid. Thank you. I don't know if there was still ads going. So, Leander was apparently, uh, it was Traveller's Tales, because it was like, in even when you play Pugsy on the Mega Drive, probably the Amiga version too, they reference it or something. One of the secret levels, but like something spells out Leander in like the background. But it looks quite fun. But I think that was a an Amiga port. Obviously Pugsy was on the Amiga too. And was there Wiz and, Wiz and Liz?
It's crazy how games were just were, were on, ev like I think especially British made ones, they were just sort of on everything. Like this game is on, I think it's on the NES, the Game Boy, the Mega Drive, the SNES, the Amiga, and they're all sort of the same game but just different versions. Imagine being a studio and developing like seven or eight different, and they're not even like ports. I'd say the Super Nintendo and the Mega Drive will have a lot in common, but the Game Boy would have nothing to do with this. You'd have to make totally new music for the different hardware every time. Not like Xbox and PlayStation where it's kind of the same thing but just the frame rate's different or something. Um, boom, boom, boom. I don't think I went this way last night. The bo no, I did it at the bonus room. Actually, there's, there were secrets, wasn't there, that I could climb up? Oh, shit. I could skip some of this. Oh! oh well, this is nice. The spring room. I need to start checking on top of doors. You know there was another place with a door that I could stand on, and I bet there was an invisible door that I missed. It's funny to read the, um, I was reading the reviews on the Wikipedia for this one and from some of the magazines at the time it came out and they commented on the difficulty. I mean, I can see, yes, it is hard, but for the era that it came from, I don't think it's that bad, to be honest. Like, I find it strange that people at the time would be commenting on the difficulty of it. Like, have you played Ghouls and Ghosts? Have you played, like, Conjure or whatever? Lurking and working. Thank you for the lurking work. I will be polite and say, how are you? But I know you're lurking. Oh, sugar. Oh, this is the secret thing, I think. Okay. I'm gonna get the things that first, though. I actually don't need to do any. Oh! Why won't it go? There we go. Oh. 
There's the secret. I think it was this way that I need to go. There's another one as well somewhere. It is good that they have these little shortcuts though. Like, if you die on the boss and you've got to make your way back, at least you don't have to do all of it. Really? I'm not sure that's worth the effort. Wah. Missing something. Oh, there we go. Whoa. <laughs> Excellent timing. No, no. Oh. Do, do, do. Whoa. Oh, here we are at the boss. Eureka. 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 When I first came to him last Eureka. night, I actually thought he was speaking Japanese. Eureka. When it was, uh, uh, I actually thought like for a moment, I was confused. But then I thought, oh, was this a Japanese developed game? Then I'm like, no, it's Ocean. Eureka. Shouldn't have done that. No! Ooh. First. But father, I was working on a new poison for Wednesday with the wacky scientist. Take a screenshot of this passcode in case something goes wrong. Um, wait, where did I come in? Oh, Pugsy's pipe. I saw this on the demo screen if you let it idle for a while. Well, can we do it again? Get that money. It's like almost an extra life. One more. Oh, we've still got to do Uncle Fester, haven't we? Let's get the hearts back first. <laughs> Bet the bosses, are, if you can be really good and take the weapons to the bosses, it would be quite, quite fun. Actually, let's look at everybody now. And there they are. They they kind of look like one thing, but Wednesday looks like she belongs in a different game, and I can't think what it is. She looks like she's from Fantastic Dizzy or something. Alright, where's the portrait room? Nope. Nope. Oh. 
Portrait Gallery. Uncle Festa came this way earlier with Abigail. What the fuck is that bear spitting at me? Little teddy bears? That's crazy. I'm assuming I'm probably gonna lose the power in a moment anyway. Or should I go back and I might get the ball again. Would be helpful. Wait, which one was it? Oh, you fucker. <laughs> Whatever. I don't need it anyway. What are those? What is that? What is... What is that? A knight on a... Dodo? I don't understand the sprite. The other thing looks like a weird frog thing, but... I think they should have portraits of not just Morticia and Gomez over and over and over again. A bit of a missed opportunity there. Whoa! Bloody bird. Why do I, f I get the impression these are going to be crucial? Alright, uh, don't have to speed up the sliding though. I think it was just to get through that gap, wasn't it? But I think that is that for if you still had the if you still had the shoes, the dark room. Oh. It's Uncle Festa. And what's it? What is the hand cut thing? Just checking, but like, why would I want to go all the way back over here? What? What killed me? Is that just lava? End of the road. Maybe you're not supposed to come this way. But now in this game, I would imagine that they'd put something somewhere. See, there's points there. I'm expecting this to be something different. Ah, oh, and it's not. Oh well. No, not there. Is there hearts in this room? This 
Pugsley known for his road signs in the movie. In his bedroom. Oh, why is the jump going all weird? Oh. Crud. I've got no patience for this right now. We should be a little bit more careful though. just for that. So, what's the point of going into the dark room? Did that make the gap smaller? Do I want to be in the dark room? There's more money here. It seems more fun. The armory. Oh, there are more portraits then. Why is there no music in the armory? It's spooky. Was there before? Creepy, creepy. Now it feels like I am playing some sort of old kind of Atari game where you've got no music and just random sounds. Or some weird demo mode that's playing. Oh, that was very short lived. I want that sword though. I want them. I feel like there might be a reason it's here. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> oh, well. Why does the armory have no music? Is it a bug on my side? Does it do that? A secret. The trophy room has no music too, though. What do I want to do it again? How bizarre. Hall of Clocks. Oh, 
Oh. Can I stand on these? No. <laughs> That's a switch, there we go. Did that make, ah, oh, that's nice. Whoa! It's forever 155 in the Adams family house. That is suspicious. Is there a switch somewhere? Stop throwing bears at me. I'm still looking out for a switch. I might do some backtracking. No, I'm going back. There must be something that's definitely a secret. Whoops. This room is something, yeah, how are you? Humongous portraits. I've just been through the armory and its special features were that it had no music. <laughs> it was very, very unnerving. I don't like when games don't have music, so I just feel like you can, it, it, cre it destroys the immersion that I'm not living in a bubble or something. You hear the sirens going by and... That's definitely something. That must be removed. I wonder if I repress the other switch. My theory is if I undo that but, but it doesn't seem like it would be much of a secret because surely you want it's the secret is is to find the switch in the first place not oh or not you can do that but then you would still want to find the switch oh see it's open look so which way do I want to go do I want to go down first or to the right People probably just jump over that though, don't they? The clock dropped. Whoa! Well, one chance only for that. I'm not bothered about a heart and a ball though. What I don't like is that the clock is solid at the top. I keep bumping into it. silence again the weaponry with grandma and <laughs> what's his name lurch is it lurch is that the monsters Which is better? I think that is the only way. That whoa. What? Oh God. Ah. Oh. No oh God. Woof. Get an email of Gomez. I know. I don't think I'll make an email, but I will add it to the chat box. I was going to, but ran out of time today. It would be a good email, though, wouldn't it? But then again, I don't know. What would it? In what? What does it indicate? Being shifty. Probably should change an email at some point. We've had them for a while now. I feel like nobody ever uses um, Grace anymore. Nobody ever uses 
Well, I can't remember who can use the uh, pensive nail from Phantasmagoria. Oh, that might be bits. Fly, fly, fly! The one from the skull. <laughs> I think only Chrono uses the skull from the seventh guest. I was just sort of filling space with that one, I think, at the time. Nothing's really spoke to me that needed an emote. Like, I'm, I like the frog, but I don't think it, it comes out very well. It's hard to see. S Adventures actually was quite new, I guess. I think my favourite emote is probably, well, one of my favourite emotes. I really like um, the Immortal. It's just good. Or whatever. I'm gonna run out of fast power. Like how every room has a name. Yeah, it's very, it's very, um, like, oh, it's. It's very sort of like um, Amiga Atari-esque to do that, I think, to have names for rooms. That's what I remember playing some of the games. It's probably not even just that, it's probably just very British, European to do, or maybe even just specifically British to name every level. It's like Lemmings. Instead of just being stage one, just dig. Do, 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 do. Lower gallery. Why do we have music? No music. What's what is it contributing? I'm just wondering if there's a bug and there was there's a track missing. The, the little bounce, now that I've got no music, the little bouncing sound effects when you kill enemies reminds me of some of the weird sounds in Light Crusader. But, well, not even sounds actually, it's the music in Light Crusader. That kind of, it goes like bow, 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 bow. But with the sound of this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't start. Ah! Oh, I got it. Oh, and it's gone. Sometimes I feel like he's go he goes through the ceiling just a little bit, but it's like a bug. But sometimes I'm like, oh, is that a secret like exit or something? But then it's like, no, it's not. Hmm. The library. Reading can be a rewarding experience, but only if you read the correct books. Anatomy scab smells bat spiders. Boo! Oh, I love the book boo. What the hell? Do they say something? Nope. This is this is ripped off, I'm sorry. But I know you have a bookworm, but is it really a thing? Do, do they have to look like that? They look just like the things on Castle of Illusion. In the library level on Castle of Illusion. Which was made like, what, two years prior to this? They definitely had played it. How am I supposed to get up? Oh? the top shelf. I like just how the game's got names that mean stuff as well. Sometimes hints about what what it is. Can you just chill out? Um, oh, whatever. Big Ho. Big Ho. What would it be? <laughs> Big ho, prack, go, pigs. Ghosts? 
practical magic, hocus pocus, tick, disaster, plague, demons, monster, man, manus, 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 big hose, and practical ghosts, octom. Spell, excuse me. Mo spell spells are <laughs> Goth. The Book of Mo. Let's shop him. Bye. Kalit. Spelling omen net. Why some of them are like words and some of them are nonsense? Embalming. V. I was wondering for a minute what that was. Venus in furs. Okay. Black beard. Madness. Derays. Doctor Crip. One of these books is going to be important, isn't it? Will it be Venus in furs? What does Venus infer, though? Streaks, tilt, circus morts, crisps. <laughs> Fiskist orson, bad fish. Cat skins, poisons, how to do spooks, haunt, blank, traps, end. Maybe end is the important book. I'm just wondering why things said a hint like that. The reading room. Some doors are less obvious than others. Des Portes Sont. Didn't realise there's going to be a language test here. But I shall Google that. What language is that? Is it la la Latin? <laughs> ah! Where's my Google gone? Translation of doors are it's French. It's not even a full sentence, I don't think. Whatever. Good read. Mm, we'll come back in a minute. I wonder what would happen if we hadn't gone in Doro. Bone, bone art, drowning, wind, rip, croak, up, 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 and away. <laughs> we. <laughs> Game does make me go. Oh, piss off these bloody knights! Spells singing. Dragon Blish. I'm gonna go back actually. It seems like we're getting too far away. I 
I think the game should have had more humour like this before. A secret panel. Very good read. It's almost like it is words. I can't read it. Oh, I need to bounce on his head, don't I? That's something over there. Oh, that was just how to get up there. I don't need to do that. We had a flying hat. Disappointed. <sighs> this reminds me a lot of Castle of Illusion right now with these knights throwing things. And these books are ours. You just <gasps> stop spawning. Yeah, you knew that that would be something there. Ooh, why are we in the reading room? Is that not just where I was? Ugh. If I just, is it just to have to skip a bit to the level? I want to read the books. There's too much vomit on this stage. Monster, dragon, bliss, dreaming, magic, vision, Le lie, believer, evils, diary, dark moths, sol, lunar, astral, HP, sorcery, nightmare, spirit, raw flesh, vampire. Ugh, what's that? Now, burn, stabbing. Werewolves, stroke, back, <laughs> backwards, order, chaos, be psycho, how to keep, be serious, be happy, be you, chains, what? <laughs> What's that one? Can't read it. Sitting, captain, rub, w, omit, phew. Oh, there's more. Tall tales. Try pulling down it on a book for something refreshing. Okay. Do -do -do -do. Try pulling down on a book for something refreshing. Tall Tales For something refreshing Which book? Oh you bastard Big old I'll try on any other books I wonder if it'll be a book that's actually something refreshing Or the, the I will get something refreshing for doing it like, Is it going to be a book called like Ice Tea Acid? That sounds refreshing Blood gore, scabs, drop in. Maybe that one. There we are. A better read. How am I supposed to get that, though? Is there not an invisible platform? I can't get the one up. 
very much like the one up. Dynamite. Or oh, maybe I need this. I don't think it affects your height, though. Dynamite swords. Ow. Train wrecks. Funny New York. Gargoyles. Ant farming. Pain, snow, agony, rust. something up there. I can't get up now. If I can just go back again. why this exists if not for a secret because it's hard to get up here and why would you put enemies up here fine stand on the engine to get train moving but watch out the track is shocking Oh. Stop. Stop what? How do I... Woo? Are you real? How do you stop? What's the stop for? So why does it keep saying stop? I can't do... Oh! Yes, yes, stop. Oh, here we go. Oh, maybe not kill Uncle Faster. Do we need to bounce on his head? Oh dear. This is a little bit rough and tumbly. What is she throwing? Okay. 
He is really not lining up for me to get at her. Oh dear. Oh, whatever. She's actually right, one of the easier bosses, I think, compared to what the others were. I'll let her say that. Oh, is he hurting me or not? Maybe not. Because he is supposed to be possessed or something. Confused. Gotcha. My memory has come back, Gomez, my brother. But Morticia, you must find her. Um, okay. Well, maybe this is the end of the game then. If I can just rush through. Oh, heavenly. Was that it? That was not very nice music. I was sort of hoping for a little bit more from that scene. The chain room. Wow, this looks really fun, but I'm going to take a quick break before I do this. I shall be back shortly.
Right, I'm wondering if I'm going to actually be able to finish this or not. We shall see. I feel like I'm probably going to die at the end. And looking at the clock, that'll be the only attempt I have. Um, hmm? Oh, chains. Right, right, right. This is the first... They've, they've sort of used any sort of parallax, I think. I actually noticed that the review mentioned that too, that I was reading earlier, one of the reviews. They criticised the lack of sort of parallax and graphics, which is, which is a fair point to make. This is a cool, kind of cool room though. way do I want to go? What about this way? Don't go down. I mean, you say it. You say it, but we have to do it, right? The piranha tank? <laughs> oh, piranhas ain't so bad. His ass just gets rid of them. here. What about don't go down and I went the other way? Oh, or up here. Through this maze? Oh, fuck. Why does it have to be a maze? The family fortune awaits. I don't like mazes in video games. I don't like mazes. Well, no, I like real life mazes. It'd be fun. I just came from there. Huh? Oh, look, I'll grab the hot. Oh, well, now I need the hot. Oh, for God's sake. I'm just going to grab that heart again. You're back. Maybe I do need to go into the... Well, no, I would assume I need to open that, actually. Whoops. Speaking of emails earlier, I, want, I need to add some more redeems to the sound, the points. I feel like the ones we've had, we've had for a while. I haven't added anything new since actual content. I can't remember when I did that one now. But what to add? Wasn't there one... Re oh, I want to add the scream from SOS. I should make a note of this. We actually do do that. I'm pretty sure Barface would be happy if I added that one. I'll put the Scream from SOS. So I'm going to get a good rip of it. Amazing chains, they're really not that amazing. <gasps> I 
I would like to add the hippo from Fantasia actually too. Is there drowning in this game? I hope not. <laughs> I've not seen any. I can't imagine there would. There is. Ah! That's a, a door. No, there's not been a lot of water overall. Which is good. The only problem with, with this is this is going to be a pain in the arse. Like if I get game over to have to redo. I wonder if I should just get game over now on purpose. And get all the lives back again. It's just going to take me eight, well, 14 lives maybe? A piranha tank again? Huh? From over here. Did I not go through the piranha tank last time? The frame rate was going. I think that's the first time I've seen the frame rate go. Too much dithering and piranhas. I went this way because that's why you just asked about drowning. Um, the amazing chains. I go, which way did I just I fell down there didn't I and that was the piranha tank why is the heart in the wall hmm. does that switch just open this perhaps Shit. Well, now it's going to reset, I think. Hasn't. Why has all of this fallen away? That hasn't opened it. So what does that switch do? This is provided that it's resetting. What was it before? No. What is that doing? follow what that does. Because I would assume it would reset upon leaving the area, so I don't think it's done anything else elsewhere. Back to the chain room. There was one there was one more switch somewhere that I didn't do. Oh no I remember my train of thought. It's this, isn't it? That and that's off now. And has that opened the thing yeah it has. Crap. Amazing chains. I've already been here. Eh? Well... <laughs> what? You know, if they dis they've decided to use the parallax, like the foreground layer with the chains, at the most annoying time, because all it's just to obstruct your view. It's a bit like Yogi Bear. But nowhere near as bad. I can't quite see. Whoa! Oh, that's why that heart was there. It was a glitch. So you're not. So, so wait. Huh? 
So he's supposed to come this way around. Presumably. And then you're supposed to presumably hit that, which we've done. If this door is open now, I'm not going to be impressed. Because why wouldn't it do it before? Why do I have to go... Do you have to go around in a specific order? What the hell? Whoa! Oh, we don't need this. Right. I think I'm going to make an executive decision to just die. We'll get a little game over. I'm going to go and get lives ready. Oh, I just want to die faster. No, this is not a good room to die in. Maybe the other room? How are you getting on with Final Fantasy IV? use the password but I don't know what I don't know what it keeps exactly well the main usually like usually you would be better off to continue to go because I would have when I get game over, I'd only have five lives, but because the, it resets all the lives that you can pick up, it means you can get them all st and stockpile them again. And as you'll see in a minute, because you weren't here at the start, I found it a secret room, or rather, I uh, read on Sega Retro about the game, and I was looking, just scrolling down the page, and it had a list of the names of the areas, and I saw the name of one of them, and was like, oh, I've not been there. And I uh, had a look, and I found it. It was P Pugsy's secret bedroom or whatever, and it's full of extra lives. So I can just go there in a moment, and I'll have like 30 lives. So I would rather do that than try and get through this on 10 and then lose at the end. 10 might be enough, but... But if you didn't know about the secret, though... Like in, in maybe another game, it wouldn't be worth it because the 10 would be in your best interest because you'd be reset to the bare minimum. Five lives. But um, first let's go and get the the ones from outside and then we'll do Pugsies. But yeah, sometimes I don't know what is the point of... Well, I think there's a little bit of a point in lives in this one actually. No, there is. There's a reason to have lives. This is the wrong way. If you didn't have lives in this one, then the threat of death would not be an issue because the checkpoints are so generous. They would have to change the way the checkpoints work because even in, a, in an area, like you move a little bit and it'll be a checkpoint. So if you die, there's, there's, you can just you would just be able to just brute force your way through stuff by just using iframes. I mean, sometimes I kind of do that to an extent, but I'm doing the, the gamble is I'm wasting lives that I might need for the boss. But like, this area... Hang on a minute. Let's get some dollar. This is probably a checkpoint already. Yeah, it really does just depend on the point of lives. Like, 
Parodius. Actually, no, I guess it's tied to high. Some of it's tied to high score. Because it will reset the score if you get game over. So if you're trying to do a high score boy kind of thing, then you'll need to not get game over. But for people that don't care, not perhaps such a big deal. Short break and Hugo is taking my work chair hostage. Oh no! Maybe he needs a break too from being a cat. Hey, enjoying the Adams family? I really like it actually. I think it's very good. Very, uh, well, I wouldn't say it was a total surprise because I have played it before many years ago and I vaguely remembered liking it then. So, hey Zan. How are you? Oh, it's fine, this is, really. If you've got the right mind frame and a bit of patience, it's pretty good fun. Get in there slowly. You need to find the secrets, though. Some games just encourage forcing a game over if you fail too early. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's been quite a few games where I, where I deliberately game over and reset my progress. Especially, you know, you get to a new level and you've got one life left. The first thing you do is throw yourself off the cliff to get your full lives back. Depends if you've got unlimited continues though, doesn't it? Tired, but I have risen. I need to go to bed. I've got work tomorrow, but I'm not tired because I stayed up until 7 in the morning last night. Oh yeah, so here's the secret area that I've not been to yet. This game has tomberries. All this money. See, they got you covered on this game, but like I said, you need to game over to get it all back. Get treats out to lure him away. <laughs> what kind of cat is 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 he? Like, I don't mean the breed. I mean, like, could you not just pick him up, or will he like have you? <laughs> How dare you! Is he a moody cat? Tomberries and weird. I can't remember what some of the enemies are now. Tomato spiders. Uh, do I want. I don't really care about the weapon because I'm going to die anyway. Tried that. He tried to bite my hand. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> How long has he been your cat? <laughs> Just like, nope, get lost. I will take that actually. The bird riding knights from Joust in this game too. Is that what they were? Do you reckon that's a real thing though? Who made Joust? Did Ocean made Joust? Because I was looking at that and I was just not passing what the hell was going on. How are you Damien? I guess if you've been lurking for a while if you remember that. <laughs> that was a while ago. Oh, get in the bloody door. Oh dear. So the fares will immediately start to wear away if you change areas. Oh. Probably nothing more than a nod. Is, is Joust the same people though? Because it might be, it would make sense if it was. Been lurking while starting the work day. in the mood today. He's probably trying to do this stupid jump. 
Get in the door. Not sure that was. Oh, it was worth it. So there's more lives. The one up room. Woo! And now we're ready to take on the final area. These games always have. Oh, of course it was Williams. No, it was, because I remember watching Big Tall stream in the Williams arcade collection and he was playing Joust and he was hating it. you enjoy that music. That's what I went around rescuing them all for. Maybe it's an odd. Uh, which way? This way. Didn't rescue them because they are family. Rescue them because they provide musical entertainment. And that pleases me. Exactly. That was my thoughts when I rescued them. I'll give you a little shout out as well. Playing art. That's a fun game. I played Art Alive once, that was fun. You should play Art Alive on the Mega Drive, see what you could create. Probably be better than what I did. I did a beautiful elephant's arse. Is that the sequel to Mario Paint? That's a prequel. Would you like to see my elephant? This is not an innuendo. I wonder if I can even find it to hand. It's on my Be Right Back screen, so you may have already seen it, but let me see if I can find the actual picture. Where did I save it? Bam, 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 bam. Maybe I didn't. Oh, here's one of my pieces of art. Isn't that lovely? I coloured it all. I didn't draw it. It gives you the template, but you can just add to it. But it's uh, pretty fun. And what was the other one that we did? Um. Oh, here it is. Ta-da! I drew some of that one. And then you use stamps to add to the picture. I call it Elephant Loose in Rural Park. That was the only one, other one I did? Oh, this one. There was this one. Let's not let the... Who's that man in the picture, though? And there's Sonic Low. And I think the last one that I had... ...was... ...this one. Isn't it lovely? Do play Art Alive. Lovely perspective, right? That's what I was going for. I'm glad that you could... You've got the eye. Whoa. A masterpiece. Oh, fucking balls. Oh, 
Hall of Chains. Now... Ooh, was I already in the Hall of Chains? We need to... This is a maze. Turn back. I might do what it says this time. It said don't go down. And I ended up just in the Piranha Tank. Maybe I won't this time. That looked like it was going to lead to the Piranha Tank anyway. Whoops, a daisy. Chain spotting could be. But I'm ch might be chain reaction. Chain letters. Whoa! The steps down. Wasn't Chain Reaction a game show? Chain Letters was as well. Chain, 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 Chain Letters. My mum used to watch Chain Letters. Chain Letters. It was the kind of TV show that you were only allowed to watch if you were off sick from school or a housewife. Stereotypically. Whoa! Chain of Coins. Chain Reaction was a show though, wasn't it? Isn't it the one where they... I can't remember. The other one that I used to watch after school if you were home early. The Caves. Was that the end of the maze then? Vaguely remember it. Which one? Chain Letters. Wonky Donkey. This is the same rolling head from the snow area, just not made of snow. I used to watch 15 to 1. Which I think nobody talks about anymore. Was it one of Bob Monkhouse's shows? I bet it was. Wait, which one? <laughs> Chain Letters? I don't think he did the whole show though. Didn't he get cancelled? No, he died. I don't, I don't know now. I'm, I'm actually googling this now. Bob Monkhouse. The Chain Letters? No. Who, did, who presented Chain Letters? Quiz show. I just remember this the thing. It was a British quiz show produced by Tyne blah blah blah. Presented by Oh god, Jeremy Beadle presented it in nineteen eighty seven apparently. That's not when I saw it. Ted Robbins, Vince Henderson. I don't even know who these people are. Andrew O'Connor. Well who did Chain Reaction then? I think that was a show too. Chain Reaction was an American game show created by Bob Stewart. Did we have we might have had a UK version though. Watch that a lot. I don't know which one I did. I've always liked catchphrase though. It's not the most obscure, but it's very good. Even when I go home, sometimes at Christmas I still want to watch reruns of Catchphrase. And Supermarket Sweep. I didn't realise until recently that Supermarket Sweep was actually American. Me and my friend watched some episodes of it. He's American. So we were showing each other. I was like, this is my Supermarket Sweep. The American one's quite like... it's It's got a certain level of like kitschiness to it. But it's also like slightly serious too. But then, you know, obviously ours is Dale Winton. Bless him. Every morning. See, I never got to watch it before school. I used to have to watch it. It was only if I was off sick. I used to love it. Like, if I was off sick, it meant I could watch Supermarket Sweep and stuff with my mum and be on the sofa with a blanket. Because I think it used to come on at, like, 10 or something when I watched it. Next time you're at the checkout and you hear that beep, think of the fun you could be having on. Food prices now, it should make a comeback. I would have no idea. Have a guess, how much is this bog roll? £2 wrong, it's £5.50. I'm not a fan of the, the ceiling hurting you. Again. Uh, 
I'm not bothered about that thing. What other quiz shows I used to enjoy? Crystal Maze was a classic. But it was better with Richard O'Brien. Did you get a lot of... Where are you? You're in Australia, right, Zan? Or is it New Zealand? You have to excuse my ignorance. I can't remember now. I just remember you are on the same time zone as me, roughly. Kids 1 called Nightmare. I don't... I don't... I know what that is and I remember it a little bit, but I think I may have just sort of missed that one. I think I saw it once or twice. That not that the one with the... There's like a big room and they've got to get from one side to the other and they've got like a helmet on and there's a knight and they've got to direct them through? Price is Right was was my I'm Home 6 secret enjoyment. Price is Right. Isn't it funny though? Like, you would get that. Like, you get a day off school and it meant you could just watch stuff that you weren't usually able to. Just watch through the keyhole. <laughs> yeah, I was just wondering if Australia got a lot of the same quiz shows, because I guess you would have your own, really. You wouldn't really import British quiz shows because we didn't we didn't really import a lot of the American ones either. We just made our own because I guess you want to see your own like you want to see not your own people but you want to see people like from your own country and it's your own currency as well. You want to see like Doris from Yorkshire trying to win three hundred pounds. It's far more interesting than watching somebody on the other side of the world. And it's a really cheap and easy format to just copy and repeat, isn't it? They, they all seem to, like, you look at quiz shows and it's always like there's an American version that copied the UK one or vice versa or an Ameri Australian show. Down deeper. I used to like, not The Price is Right, but there was one that Michael Barrymore did. Was it, and it was, wait, didn't he do The Price is Right as well? Something like that. But then there was the one with the TVs, and he used to go across on the left or the right with all the TVs. I think it was, it was like Wipeout or something. And you'd have to guess to go higher, higher, or lower, lower. Strike It Lucky, that's it. Strike It Lucky, I used to watch that all the time with my dad and my mom. The living room. I saw. I, I, I'm probably just the wrong age and don't, well, I don't live there for a start too, but I miss that sort of, that excitement of Saturday, Saturday night TV. Even just stuff like that, like you would just get together and watch it. Like, do people watch Saturday night TV anymore? I feel like X Factor just kind of dominated and killed it. Oh, go away. I don't even remember what half of it, like when it was on, it just... I guess my parents decided. We used to watch like Generation Game, Strike It Lucky, Annika, Challenge Annika. I can't even remember Challenge Annika. I've looked it up on YouTube. The only thing I remember about Challenge Annika is the bloody theme tune. And that with that bus. Let's go up there. And her bomb. I don't really remember my bomb, but I think my dad might have. I often wonder if that's why we were watching it. You can find some of these shows on YouTube though. It's really, really nostalgic to go back and watch some of them. Last year, I like to do it at Christmas time. I might start doing it soon. But I liked watching um, The Rolling Stones. I like watching old episodes of Surprise Surprise and the Moments of Truth. A Noel's House Party. Some of the Surprise Surprises were really good though, because there was like this woman who was a huge fan of the Beatles and something had happened, not the Beatles, the Bee Gees, and some stuff had happened. Blobby. Some stuff had happened and then um I can't remember like I think something maybe something bad had happened to her now and I can't remember she'd lost like a Bee Gees collection for some reason. But she'd also done some like helpful charitable thing. I don't know. She was a deserved lady, maybe. For some reason. 
but they got her all the Beatles CDs in a basket and like tickets to go to the concerts and whatever. And then at the end, um, you know, Scylla's like, but wouldn't you prefer like a performance to hear their new song or whatever? And then it's like the Bee Gees were just like there. They just turned up in the studio and performed a new song for her live. I mean, obviously there's great publicity for them. In reality check here, but what a cool little show that was. And she was like, you know, floored when Barry Gibb or whatever walked through the doors. Ah! It's funny to think that anybody was that obsessed with the Bee Gees ever. Because I'm sure that they're, they're, they're very talented and they've written lots and lots of songs even for other people. But I can't imagine anybody like having all their albums and being utterly obsessed with them. But hey... It did send me down on a downward spiral on YouTube, though, to find out how many songs they actually did that I know. Wouldn't you like to hear some new stuff? Like, no, good, thanks, though. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. And they left. They're all, aren't they all dead now? What is this thing? It's got no beak. It's really creepy. It's like a bird with no beak. I think one's left. Barry. If you actually look up the Bee Gees, you, it's crazy how many songs they wrote for other people that you don't know they wrote. Didn't they write? They wrote. I mean, you can hear them on people's tracks and stuff like Diana Ross's Chain Reaction. Speaking of chains, boom. Whoa. Do I wait? Why? Huh? Do I want to go here? As I've said before on another stream though, I've been binge watching Airline on YouTube. Keeps me, helps me remember the UK and, and all the horrible people. Complaining about planes. Speaking of, did anybody watch, like, any British people in chat, did you watch Big Brother yesterday? Is it, how is it? I need to check it out, if I can find it online somewhere. I'm curious. No spoilers, please. I'm hoping it'll be, because I used to love Big Brother. I used to, cause it was always nice to just have something to look forward to at the end of the day, living out here. It was like a little guilty pleasure of mine. I, w I would binge watch it on the weekends or something. Complaining. Oh my god. For a minute there, Diane, I was like, is that the name of the level? Because it wouldn't surprise me, like, on this game. I was like, that pun. Now I know what you're on about. <laughs> Airline. But then I was like, that makes no sense. In the context of the Adams family, never watched Big Brother. Yeah, we're still going. It it wasn't. It's come. It's coming. It's come back after like it hasn't been on air since like 2017 or something. And it's changing channels again. I think it's, is it ITV now? Don't even know. New presenters, new everything. Total reboot. I just don't know if it'll work. What I hope they don't do is just stick in a load of Instagram popular models in there or something, and put actual like nobodies in. And try and have that little bit of realness. I used to enjoy watching it, get into it. It was also something just to talk about with people back home. Like, oh yeah, I watched it. I used to binge watch it on the weekends, like, because I'd be too busy in the week, and then I'd just binge watch it on a Saturday or a Sunday, like playing Assassin's Creed or something. Because, you know, you don't need to really listen to Assassin's Creed, it's just repetitive nonsense. Running around picking up feathers. 
the volcanoes. It really is disturbing. How does it eat? Siphon's dreams, probably. What, this bird? Bird bird. Oh, I can't be bothered. The game is starting to fall into monotony a bit now, though. Like, I'm kind of like... About ready to finish. <laughs> but if I but if I got this for Christmas though, as a kid, I probably wouldn't be wishing it was over. I would want more money's worth. Whoa! It's a pretty big game though. I was looking when I looked it up, the long play or whatever's on YouTube. The, the the video length was like one hour and forty or something, which I guess is if you know what you're doing. But it's long for a platformer. Bird bird. Because James Pond's pretty long as well. James Pond 2. The amount of times I've tried to play James Pond 2 on here, thinking I'll be able to finish it in, in, in one sitting, and then realise, oh no, I need to go to bed, and I've still got probably about two hours left. Because it's just... It's quite long when you're trying to play it cautiously. To the river. Oh, whatever. Sort of just rushing because it's half past twelve. Don't know how I got away with that. We'll just, yeah, whatever. We'll call it skill. I want those hearts. Whoa. Bastard. Crap. That didn't go very well at all. Oh dear. Hmm. The gondola. Is there anything underneath the gondola? may have been easier, but really, maybe it wouldn't have been. It actually seems fine to just swim by myself. Avoid all that crap in the air. Especially because the hitboxes on these fish are quite generous. Yeah, whatever. That was a fun gondola ride. Adam's Vault. 2, 10, 11. Does that mean something? Imagine it was today's date. For a moment I was checking. The treasury. Oh my god, we're still going. I was hoping that would be the boss. It's gone. It's gone, Dola. Very good. Eyes, fingers, toes. Two. Wait. <laughs> From the movie. 
Why 11? Eyes, fingers, toes. Two eyes, ten fingers, eleven toes. Who has eleven toes? I haven't seen the movie for a while. It rings a bell though now. I think I've seen Adam's Family Values more than the first one. I think Val Val Values is the one where they go camping, isn't it? And try and be happier. Who has to 11 toes? Faster. <gasps> the Nasty Judge. Oh god, there's Morticia. Whoa! Bam! I think this is the final boss. Oh! <laughs> he said I was guilty. I love how his legs are like a separate sprite. Oh, the shoes were working as a shield, weren't they? When's he going to say guilty again? Don't remember him being that big in the movie. <laughs> Don't remember Gomez being that small. <sighs> Greedy. Got away with it. Ooh. Oh, you bugger. Oh, that's very greedy then. Now, is he going to guilty now? Fudge, fudge. <gasps> Go! Yeah. Yeah. Well done, my darling. You have saved the family fortune and Fessa's return to the fold. Think nothing of it, my que querida. Excuse me. I enjoyed exploring this old house of ours once again. Woo! Oh, Gomez, I remember too. All those simply wonderful, dark... And devious nooks and crannies. <laughs> Unhappy, darling. Hey, Big D. Yes, completely. Ace Attorney. Yay! That was a pleasant game. That was. It was a bit. The difficulty was a bit weird. That final boss was pretty easy compared to some of the others. Is that it? The end? We're done? They don't even... They should have credits for who made that. Be proud. That was good. I enjoyed that. I would play again. It's nice, nice change to have a game that's not absolute ass. Nooks and crannies. Woo! Wow. Adam's family. It was, it was swell. Let's go into the Hall of Stairs, just because it's got nice music, while I sort this out. I've changed OBS, so I'm trying to figure... I've got to remember, read. Uh, da, 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 da. Number count, there we are. Game 138, The Adams Family is finished. It's very nice. Very, very nice. What's next? I think that'll do for the evening, probably. Should probably go to bed, yeah, because I've got work. Let's do a raid. We'll see who's on.